He really does seem sluggish, though. I know he's being moved around by these wide serves and so on, but uh, doesn't seem to be alert as he should be. One hour twenty on court, and two and a half sets have gone. Forty, fifteen. In danger of being broken again. Chang with a point for three two. On this occasion, Moya taking a leaf out of Chang's book, seizing on the short ball and really thumping it down the line. Now is Chang in danger of being broken for the second time, the second successive service game. Now, Moya did that in the first set, he had break point midway through the first set. Just clean, missed the return of serve. Here again, he's struggling to try to get back into this match. Works hard for the break point. Unforced error, very frustrating. Well, you were saying how difficult uh, it is to play with these balls, which are very fast and fiery. The court is fast. It's as though neither player really has come to terms with it. Chang much more than Moya. But Moya hardly at all. Just well, that was a fault. I agree with Moya. I agree with you. Definitely. I think that lady was so busy trying to protect herself from being hit, she just didn't look to make the call. Could be. Tough on Moya, accepting it well.
practice. Well, for Moyer to, to throw his racket in disgust, that last point, he's seething inside because he's, he's got a great nature, a very easygoing nature. He doesn't show too much emotion. Shane, just having a little look at that, pretty hard for us to tell. Chang again in danger of being broken. Crowd just applauding. The ball boy went to get the ball. He ran so fast. Had a little stumble. Stumbling over the ball. Quiet, please. I think they do a fabulous job, these boys and girls. They're so quick to clean up the court. I think he was fed up with the noise uh, that was going on during that point. Well, I think he felt it was out. And actually, a couple of people in the crowd started to say out during the rally. New Yorkers, they like to have their say too. We won't be able to tell from this angle, but it was the shot there, the previous one of Chang's, that Moyer felt was out. You can see, arms up, has a look at the lines person. Not a happy camper. Thank you. Well, usually when things aren't going your way, it tends to, uh, it's cumulative. They, what do they say? Bad things happen in threes. Well, he sort of lost it, really, Moya. Now you have to feel sorry for him. He feels everybody is against him. He's playing badly. The calls are going against him. Been a very long game, this one. New York crowd's been pretty kind to Carlos Moore. He's a pretty likable character. They haven't... Uh, they just tried... Maybe they just want to see more tennis. They've got a big holiday weekend ahead of them. But they're certainly trying to get behind him and will him on. He was very lucky in this rally. The return of serve was, an, it was a complete shank. And uh, turned out well for him. To me, watching him here tonight, everything, all his problems seem to have stemmed from his footwork. And he, he's a great mover on clay. I've seen him move well at the Australian Open. But here tonight, nothing's happened with the feet and everything, all the problems have started there.
Difficult shot to pick up. Absolutely fed up now, Moya. Chang moves ahead, 3-2 in the third set. The night scene at the US Open, nearing the end of the first week. Things getting serious now. But this match, in some ways, has been almost laughable. The performance of Carlos Moya, number 20 in the world, and just not performing. You feel very sorry for him. I do anyway, I'm sure Wally does too. He's a very, very good player. But not tonight. And now he's in that zone. He doesn't know if he's Arthur or Martha at the moment. He's not sure what tactic to adopt. Does he try to hit the ball harder from the baseline? Should he try to come in? He's all at sea. A few more unforced errors there from Moyer. But the difference is in the winners. Chang, then you... Sorry, Bill, I was just going to say, Chang's hit 33 winners to Moyer's nine. Yeah, you've got to give credit to, uh, to Chang for confusing Moyer thus far and uh, initiating this sort of collapse. That's exactly what you were suggesting Moya should be doing very early on in the first set. Just give it back to him at the net and let him make an error. Yeah, I guess if you're having a great night and you're really seeing the ball well, by all means go for the pass, but this is not John McEnroe coming to the net, it's Michael Chang just making play as many volleys as possible. Bill, I know you're a keen tennis player, you've played for many years, and as a professional, as a social player, you just have days, two break points for Chang, sometimes just nothing goes right, you don't know what it is, put it down to uh, circadian rhythms, metabolism, I don't know what it is, but there are just some days where you just can't get it together, and I'm looking at Carlos Moyer out here tonight, and it looks like he's having one of those days. Yeah, equally, one day you might play uh, better than you feel you can play, and you wonder why, and the next day it's gone. Yes, you're always looking for a pattern. When you do play well, you're trying to figure out what was it, my preparation, my, my rest, what did I do that made me play well, and same when you're playing badly, you always look for signs. Good aggressive point then. A lot of concentration in that final shot. Juice. You really have the feeling that had it failed and he'd gone a double break uh, breakdown there, might well have been the end for him. Advantage. Moya. Chang just motioning that ball really got up on him. Every now and then the, the balls here at the US Open, they really seem to rise. Well, that's sort of thing Goran Ivanisevic might do. I haven't seen Chang do it very often. Very casual. Pretty good play here from Moyer. When, when you're playing someone that's exceptionally quick, not a bad idea to go behind them. You could see that Chang was herring to cover the open court. Stops. Plays it behind his back. Pretty good control. 